Now it's true CVS may bring 25 new jobs to the Midtown area of Memphis, but it's also brought out more protesters this morning at the corner of Union and Cooper this morning. As you can see, they say, we love Midtown. Parking lots equal, or don't equal, rather, progress. And then simple signs like this that say, no CVS. Now the signs range from simplicity of just no CVS, even to vulgar. And look at this one, I've met the devil, and his name is CVS. Clearly protesters are, up, are upset, but they know it's not a matter of if, but when eventually the Union Avenue Methodist Church will be torn down to replace with a CVS pharmacy. But it hasn't stopped the 40 to 50 at one point, I counted, protesters out on the corners here at the intersection of Union and Cooper. They just want the city of Memphis to take notice and to know that they are upset. And in the future, they want to hold on to historical relics like this church and not let it be torn down and replaced with a more modernized and suburban pharmacy like CVS or any other merchant. We spoke with June West, the executive director of the Memphis Heritage or Organization. She knows that the eventual outcome, they won't be changed. It is a done deal that eventually the church will be torn down and replaced. But she says that she's just so proud of the protesters that have come out this morning, the people that have been there since the beginning. This saga has been drawn on for more than a year, and she's just happy that the people are still out here today. They're still voicing their opinions, and they haven't given up. Reporting from the intersection of Union and Cooper, Brennan Summers, Micro Memphis.